in the next program we are required to print output of this series so suppose user has entered 5 then we are required to calculate the series to level 5 so in case of 5 we need to calculate this 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 and this so five places so before writing this logic let us break down this series so we have plus plus operator used so for each section we need to do the calculation and add subsequent sections so let us try to understand the repetition over here so if this is my first iteration this is second third and so on then we can see this is the iteration number and it is divided by factorial of the iteration number plus one so if we are in the third iteration here three is divided by factorial of four and then each each result is added with the previous addition so let us see how we can write the program for this i'm declaring three variables i and j so one will be for your iterations and variable j will be used for calculating factorials n is the number which we will be accepting from user so n will signify label from your series so if user has entered five then this loop will be executed five times starting from one till five and on each iteration iteration number is divided by plus one factorial hence we are writing this logic for factorial in every iteration we are initializing fact is equal to 1 and then we are multiplying current value of j with factorial and storing it into factorial and the loop will continue so this loop will give you factorial of the given number notice that i have added i plus 1 over here so if your current iteration number is 3 then this loop will execute 4 times starting from 1 till 4 so it will give you result of 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied multiplied by 4. Once we have the factorial then we need to divide iteration number with factorial value and store it into sum. Also notice that sum is initialized to 0 and it is a float because as we are using division there are chances that result will be a decimal value. So let us see if user has entered 5 then your n is equal to 5 and at the time of initialization i will be holding some garbage value j will also be holding some garbage value we are initializing sum with zero and factorial with one so the first for loop we are initializing i with one so condition will be checked as one less than or equal to five which is the true condition so controller will go inside of the loop we are storing one into factorial from this statement and then the next loop for j will be initialized to one and j is checked as j less than or equal to i plus one so i is 1 in this case so this loop will execute from 1 till 2 for 2 times so this statement will give you result as 1 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 1 and result will be stored into fact and in the second iteration 1 will be multiplied with 2 because j will be incremented to 2 and fact is equal to 1 and this result which is 2 will be stored into fact so your fact will become 2 so in the next statement we are calculating i divided by fact so current value of i is 1 so 1 divided by factorial which is 2 so output is 0 0.5 and that we are adding into sum notice that sum is initialized to 0 so sum will become 0 0.5 and after that value of i will be incremented so i will become 2 then the condition will be checked as 2 less than or equal to 5 which is the true condition so again these statements will be executed next factorial will be calculated that will be factorial of 3 which is 6 and subsequent value of sum will be calculated over here once using this statement suppose this gives as result x then current value of sum is 0 0.5 then x plus 0 0.5 will be stored into sum the so sum will get updated over here so same process will continue for five iterations and at the end of the result you will have calculated value into sum which we are printing over here